Good morning, friends. I hope that you are doing well. Today, we are going to just quickly, briefly go over wheelchair rentals at Disney World, specifically Hollywood Studios. Our last trip that we um, went on, we had to rent a wheelchair and we had to rent one in Universal Studios. And then we also had to rent one when we went to Disney. And both places, oh my gosh, my glasses are crooked really bad. Or my nose is crooked. I don't know which one. <laughs> anyway, probably my nose. <laughs> anyway, so both places, both parks handled things very differently. We were pleasantly surprised in some ways and in other ways, not so much. So I thought I would share that with you. Just again, this is our personal experience. Uh, we don't often have to rent wheelchairs. So this was a new experience for us. And I thought maybe someone could use our information. So we rented a wheelchair, not from our resort. I know you can pre-rent things from your resort directly. You have to call up and, and arrange for that. We didn't do that. We don't need to use a wheelchair on a daily basis. It is an as needed basis. And, um, so that being said, we rented when we got to the park, which was both good and bad. So when we got to Hollywood studios, my advice is I always thought people tended to go to the right, but in that park, when they line up to go in, it, I, it's been our experience that they tend to go to the left. The wheelchair rental is actually towards your right. There is a place that looks like a gas station. That's where your wheelchair rental, your both your push and your electric ACB rental will be, as well as your stroller rental. Those strollers look incredibly uncomfortable. I cannot speak to that situation but I just want to let you know all the rentals are in the same place. Looks like a gas station. It's right when you get in on the right side. On the left side, opposite, is your guest relations and your uh, first aid. I think baby cares over there too. So again, I'm just going by memory. I if, if you would like me to show you a map or something in the future, we can do that. So when you go there, at least my experience was a little confusing. You, We had to go inside, pay for it, and then take a receipt outside to get the chair. There were a lot of people at Park Open, and had I thought about, had I thought ahead of time, I probably could have figured that was going to be the case, but I was not thinking. So we took the Skyliner, no wheelchair, we were fine got to the park and definitely needed it when we got there. Um, my daughter was, was having problems. So we, we got her a chair. The chair cost $15. So it was very reasonable. I did not buy anything fancy or rent anything fancy, just standard chair. Um, we're not to, my thinking was there wasn't going to be a lot of crazy, like up and down hills and things of that nature. Although I will say the park is more graded than I had thought it was, which was a bit of a surprise, uh, even though we had been there a few times before. So we rented it, $15. When you, if you choose to park hop, you keep your receipt. And then when you go to the next park, you show them the receipt and you don't have to pay again. That is incredibly important because you don't want to spend $30 in a day. It's $15 for the whole day. That goes with all the rentals is what they told me. You, you pay for it, but you need to keep the receipt. I am not much of a paper keeper. So that kind of caught me off guard, but we kept the receipt so that we wouldn't have any issue. We ended up staying in Hollywood studios all day. So I can't vouch to how that works, but they did tell me that. Uh, as far as queue lines and things of that nature, Disney did an excellent job. I will say that the Tower of Terror's line is a bit steep for someone that's pushing a chair. When you're first going in, we were going into the Lightning Lane queue or the old Fast Pass queue, and 
it was a little steep, especially because we were stuck sitting there for a little bit because one of the elevators went down. But once we got inside and into the queue, I was able to push her through everything just like everyone else. She had the exact same experience. It wasn't until right before we got on the ride, we just pulled our wheelchair off to the side. They do ask you if you are able to transfer, which she was. And, and they could, and they also asked us if they thought we would need to, um, need extra time kind of thing to get her in. So that being said, there were no issues. They were wonderful. Our, other experiences were very similar. Some of the experiences, they would take you in the exit. We did not obviously pre-register for the DAS system because we didn't know we were going to be using a wheelchair. So that would, if you're interested in looking into that, I can do some research, but my understanding is that it is very helpful. As far as rental though, we used the, the wheelchair all day long, then right up until park close. And then when we went to leave, we were going to go return it to the rental place and they told us that you could drop it off at the Skyliner. So she was able to take that wheelchair right up to the Skyliner and get on, which even though she had been in the chair all day, she was still having problems. So it was really nice to know, okay, we can leave this right here and it will get back and do not worry. They had an actual drop off spot there. So that is our experience. Again, when you walk in, it's on your right side. It's in a gas station. They're $15 a, for push chairs. You can have them for the whole day. Keep your receipt in case you decide to park hop. And um, you can take that wheelchair right up to the Skyliner. And then someone from the rentals will come and collect them at the end of the night. All right. I hope that you find this helpful. If you'd like any additional information, please comment below and I will do my best to help you out. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.